everybody and welcome back to another Kitalu tutorial. So today I am going to be talking about the best way to move a villager. So transporting villagers and getting them to the right spot can be a challenge as you probably are aware. Um, most people put them in mine carts and move them with rails. Um, some people put them in boats. I want to show you a little bit of a different way to move mine carts, something that I picked up from a recent video uh, that I was watching uh, that seemed to be a pretty cool way to move them and it does involve using boats um, but moving them in a little bit of a different way. So let's go ahead and get this started and I will show you the best way, really the easiest way to transport uh, and place villagers. Okay guys, so I have built, I've got some villagers trapped in this little holding cell and I want to do a separate video at some point on how to uh, capture a zombie villager and really uh, heal them um, so I didn't have to go find a villager, um, a, a village anywhere. I just uh, found some zombie villagers and I uh, healed them which was a pretty great way to get villagers. Um, so that was uh, really the best way without having to traipse all over the world to find a uh, village that I could get these villagers out here. Now I need to use them for a project that I am working on. I think I told you guys about it in another video, but it is basically a villager uh, trading farm slash iron golem farm, so kind of a two-in-one. And uh, so I'm going to get these guys out of this area and over to that farm so they can start breeding. And um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get this started and I'll show you how to transport them the best way. All right, bud, come on up. So once you get these guys in a boat, you can really push them to the block next to where the boat is. Um, to get them in there, so pretty easy way to do that. And then I'm going to hop in this boat as well so I can steer this guy over there. And then we are just going to drive the boat right across the land here. And I went ahead and tunneled this out. So ideally if you're moving from high ground, you can go downhill. If you're having to go uphill, uh, this is really what I wanted to talk about today. So the best way to get villagers uphill. So I kind of just tunneled out a little two block wide space. No big deal. Um, and as you can see, it's easy to drive downhill. But getting them back up can be a trick. So I am going to uh, drive this guy over here. Traditionally, you can build a rail, uh, which works pretty well. Um, but I feel like I've got more control when I'm driving the boat and I can make it go where I want it to go. Um, the rails also involve quite a few more materials. So you need uh, powered rails, which means you need gold and iron, and you know, for a distance like this, this is quite a lot. All right guys, so as you can see, we drove right in here and we broke those blocks all along the way. So now we are ready to get this villager where we need to go. Now we are, at the bottom of where we need to get and we got to get him all the way up there into this farm so I'm gonna drive right here and hop out and what we did was we put a piston right under this dirt block so now all we have to do is keep placing dirt under this piston and it lifts this guy right up to where we need him to go yeah guys, so we are almost where we need to go. So I am going to go ahead and do the same thing here. Break out a block. Go ahead and put this piston back down again. And I had a button somewhere. Put the button down next to it. And I will carry on lifting this fella a few more blocks. Oh yeah, he is right here where we need him to be. So, in my opinion, this is a much easier way than building rails. Um, obviously, you can just hop back in the boat. Let's turn him around here, and we will drive him right where we need him to go. So I'm going to break these blocks here in front of me. This fence, this stone fence. 
and we should be able to drive right in. Alright guys, so that is the village removed. Now all I have to do is break this boat, and he is right exactly where I need him to be. So I'm going to go ahead and put this fence back in place so he cannot escape. Um, I'll uh, move the other villager back in here as well, cover this roof over, and then these guys should be good to uh, go ahead and carry on right in here. Hey Phil, how you doing man? Good. <laughs> yeah guys, so this is perfect, so I will go ahead lock this up and I'm gonna go ahead and break this and hop in here with this guy we we'll get turned around and we should be able to drive him right where we need him to go voila back in and then we will go ahead and cover these guys up with a roof so they don't get struck by lightning and yeah guys so that is really the uh, simplest and easiest way that I know of to get a villager transported and put where you need them to go uh, with the most control of the, uh, the boat and what you need to have done with them. So without losing control, without having them run off, um, really the simplest and easiest way to transport a villager and raise them up and uh, drive them into the uh, farm or wherever it is that you need to put them. Um, but otherwise, hope you found that helpful and uh, we will see you guys on the next video. Bye!